Hello together! Um, welcome back on my channel. Um, I'm really happy you are here. So um, today I wanted to share another free class tutorial with you because there is something that's um, pretty pretty cool and I figured this out the last days and it's so accurate and uh, literally it's a really good um, thing that I can use with my strategy to make it safer and easier to sculpt and um, I want to share this with you so actually um, you see this here this this is the gold um, chart from today so gold is in a rally to the upside and um, I expected this because um, gold was in this triangle and it broke out, came back, retested, and then it flew away to the upside. So that was the move I um, really, really um, um, said yesterday that, that this move will be coming and we will get this sort of move really soon because we are coming to the end of this triangle. Um, on the one hour that's really really clear here and um, the problem is I didn't catch this move because I worked the last seven nights and when I am tired I don't trade and for me um, I was in a few trades um, inside of this move and then I put my stop loss on to secure that um, I will not go into a loss and um, was going into bed but um, yeah it was literally um, that I was got stopped out because yeah I was tired and I can focus on the trade so I was out then so I didn't catch this move at all but I want to help you um, spot this uh, moves um, to trade them and to sculpt them and you know how untouched candles works that is something i didn't explain here at all because um, you have a tutorial about this you can go onto my youtube channel and check out all the free class videos to understand what i am talking about here so i'm um, literally what we learn today or what you will learn today is um, a better form from support and resistance it's um, supply and demand and um, it's something um, I worked out in the past with zones where the price always comes back again and now I was going to um, um, find a really smart way um, using pivot points. Hopefully I um, spelled it right. Um, I will show this to you with a clean naked chart so you can follow me from the beginning and um, I will explain to you for what I am looking on my chart when I'm drawing this lines and when I am ready you will see what what power this has okay and what um, it will help you to find good take profit levels and levels where the price will reverse and levels where you could put a stop loss or something okay that is a really 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 important video to help you trade my strategy safer okay guys so let's head in um, we will do this with a new chart so i will open the um, australian dollar and new zealand dollar that is one i don't um, marked so when testing out what i am teaching you today i marked really really many um, um, charts like gold and the us 30 and forex pairs and it's working literally amazing everywhere but um, now i want to show you this on a clear chart so actually this is the chart from today and um, you see that um, it's naked so this is a, a bit of price action combined with the pivot points and um, first of all i want to show you why i never never used pivot before because i was so confused guys okay 
um, when I am turning on the pivot points, there are su supply zones and resistance zones and you have the pivot zone and I was never 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 clear enough what this will mean to the market okay so um, what I know is that price come back to the zones but I never can take it in a really really good understanding how I can use this in my trading so this is the wrong indicator for this it doesn't work for me with this indicator so we will turn it off and away so um, what I am using and I am starting now and um, this is an indicator it's in trading view and he will point this indicator will point out the numbers from the zones where the price will come back or um, bounce off okay and um, if you want to search it you go to the indicators and it's um, pivot points high low this one here so this is the wrong this pivot points high low is the right one okay so now i have it i think two times i can uh, shut down one okay so what do you see now you see the naked chart I will start with the four hour. Okay, guys, so actually, um, we will um, now draw the pivot um, levels and um, boxes so you can literally see what i am seeing when drawing this on a chart so i am now on the four hour here and i will be doing this the blue color and um, i'm writing here for our for you to understand what what zones we are in okay so all the blue ones are the four hour ones okay and what i am doing now is i am taking the color from the wick to the body of the candle where you have a number here okay where you have a certain number you need to draw it okay so you have it here then you have a number here This is a really small one, okay? So this is really, really tight. Um, there is a big one here. Then a smaller one at this point. Small one here. This is a big one. I only draw it at a certain point because um, then you had it all the way here and for me it's better to have it a little bit more clear here. So what you are seeing now is that every zone, let's say this here, this pivot point come into the chart and you draw the zone and what you're seeing then is that the price will come back to retest and touch many times okay so you see here are touches 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 but i only pointed to this way then you have perhaps um, you have um, this here okay so you have this point where you have marked and then the price came back here touched here again touched many times here okay this is a really strong one and it's literally with all this here that you have the price to come back to this area where the wick is and fill it out okay and um when you see this for example oh, and um we are heading from this here 
it's literally near this here and if we would make it a little bit bigger because this box is so big then we have a touch here too okay so this is first of all the thing what you are doing and what i am now doing is i take this one here out let's say this one is really big so at this point we have this here okay and we could do a little one here to take the room here again with this here what's not um, filled and um, what i'm doing then is um, i will take this one out so let's see i will take out the brushes and this one i take this one out too because when I would take it to this point here, then literally we have a little bit of a good area where we can take it to one, okay? So at this point, I will take this out too and take this to the side and expand it to this point. So this area is then one area for me, okay? So um, I am a little bit ranging this to fit my needs. Great. So now that is what I'm doing on the four hours. Now I'm heading in the one hour time frame, and you will see that now this gets a little bit more clearer. So we need to take here. It's um, the next color. I think we are doing, um, let's see what color we are going for um, i think this this is a nice one i take this one and then i take the one hour here okay so you see what's what i am doing here and now we are here in this we have more um, candles okay where where we see those areas and i want you to understand what i am seeing so i am seeing that many many times when there was one touch for example this one here this was one touch and you see that it wicked here again into this area many many times okay and then when you put this here you see that it's come back many times again to this point so i will take this line back to the side because this is a very important one okay and um then i will look what what's numbers i have here again so what what we are having here is literally this is an important zone here so here is something so you see when i take this to this level and this is literally there are many many numbers at the same place okay so we have four touches five when you take this one too and you see this here it's literally really easy to find this most touch zones with this system okay and you need to do this for your chart because then you know where the price will come back okay that is something you really need to know to see this okay so let's see at this point on the one hour is this a zone and it worked really often and here and um yeah we i am doing this now so you can watch me when i do this okay and um then we um go into the next in the 15 minute and look where are another another great positions where you can do this okay this one i don't like really much this one is a, a great one it's it's really small but you see that is um really really small there is no big wig or something but it touched in this really accurate so you could make this smaller like this one here 
and you have a touch okay so um, please um, this is a little bit of work so if you trade 20 pairs that is much work to do but if you trade only three or four pairs and say okay i want to focus uh, on specific pairs then this is the way to go because literally you are knowing this exactly where are these positions are okay and most of the time the price will come back to this numbers again so let's see this one is a is a really good point where the price will bounce back to before it goes higher for example and when it would break this one you can look if if it's breaking the next one before it goes higher so you really need to know where these zones are and then you can you can take set your take profit better and your stop loss and you know when there can be a trend change and when you skype the one minute it's literally important to see those things okay so i want to show you this really really clear and then and you need to understand this this is not only something you do for fun okay so if you want to make it serious then you should literally um do this really serious and um, mark this zones up for you okay because it will help you really really well okay so let's go into the 15 minute now and first of all i will take another color let's say we are taking now it's the 15 minute and we are wanting some pink that's nice like the flamingo and um this is the 15 minute okay guys now it's interesting because we are having more numbers now and we need to take it more accurate okay when whenever you come in the lower time frame this will be more accurate and you will be going to take other ones out okay because this is something you don't need 500 of these lines you only need the one that's really really accurate so for here for example look how much this wicked into this area so on this time frame you see it really clear that this is a important zone to the downside okay so i will take this here but most of the time you see that um the the zones are coming together really really fine okay so let's say you are here in a in a little zone and you draw this out and you you look how this ranging channel always always get uh, wicked out here okay so um this is important for the for the um, future because perhaps it will um, wick into this zone and then go to the upside again okay this is really important for the future so this zone is is um, here you have this one here this these both are overlapping but um, that's not a problem so you can finally take this one out if you have overlapping ones and um here is literally no wick so i would probably make it a little bit smaller and let this one in to see that this is a strong zone okay so um at this point i think that this one is not as much important actually here in this area you see it it's not as important so let's see this one is really important <clears throat> so i would take this to this point here and then i would look what's coming here at this area so um, you see that there are many many touches here and let's see perhaps this one here so do you see where this wicked into this before it fly up yeah you will see this right 
I'm literally be sure that you are seeing this. This is a really, really mind blowing strategy what I am sharing with you. So let's see. So here and then what you see, we have here the next number, you would take it to this point and you see it wicks again. Okay, so at this point, I will put this one out and take this one because it's not as big as the other ones. Okay, so you see it here again, you see here many wicks and um, this is literally uh, important perhaps a really important one and we can see if we can take it to the side here you see another wick here so um <clears throat> this is what you need to do with your chart before we can start this so now i am looking what zones i can take out okay which zones i literally don't need as much so in this area, I would take this here and would take the blue one. I would, I would make it a little bit better and take the blue one out here. Okay. So it will be a little bit clearer then to see where are important zones. Okay. And um, the daily one are important for the long term that you see long term where the price can go okay so and um, these are points where we are going long term in but um let's say we will take this ones out and we are working now with the one minute so um this one are actually not as important so we will take this one out um I will take um, yeah this one to the left uh, right <laughs> and um, you you always need to consider which one to take okay so you look at many touches that's important that you have many many touches here and the important ones are the last ones okay these are the important ones but at the end, it's always good to have the other ones in mind because the price will come to this area and then you will need this, okay? So, um, like here, we are now having really good zones here. This is a 15 minute, 15 minute time frame. And what we are doing now is, I will show you something. Um, I will go back to the, I think I will go back to the one hour to show this the best to you. Okay, so actually we will make this a little bit bigger here. So what I am going out is, um, what I would do now is, I will take um, this here again in because I think I have done it out at this point. I think this could be an important one to have it um, in this chart here. Make it a little bit smaller because we don't need it as much. Yeah, this is an important one. I will let this blue one in because when I see this, I think it's important. So this is the overall image okay guys so hopefully you understand what i am showing you here because um, that is all what we need so now <clears throat> what i am doing is um i will put in the rsi okay so you see it i will make it a little big bigger here and you see this better and I will take this one to gray so it's not distracting. So now it gets really, really important and excited um, because literally I, I can't believe what I am seeing here. Okay. So let's pretend <clears throat> you are on a, Make this a little bit smaller so we see it better. So let's pretend 
you have um, this blue zone after it's get printed and you have a um, downtrend actually so the price is coming down so let's take it in so we had a higher high a low a low a high high a low a low a high low you know what i mean yeah and then the price is coming here to this point okay so first of all you see that it's the area where you have this number where this number was printed so you need to be careful because this is the area where it can wick in and go back to the next side yes so what you are seeing then here is that um, this here was uh, let's see this year was our first point when the line was plotted okay so this this was plotted then we are going up again and here at this point we are coming into this area again and we are on the lower end from the RSI okay so this here is on the lower end from the RSI so that is a point that literally we are most of the time going into a reversal okay so here now <clears throat> we are having this zone plotted here and we are having our um, yellow line and then we are coming back again to this point again where this here get rejected and every time when you see a rejection like this it's literally that we are going to the upper side again okay so this rejections show you that the price can't hold in this level okay and you need to look closely what the rsi is saying so let's go in the five minute now and make this a little bit um whoops. make this a little bit smaller here so you can see literally what's happening here so let's say you are in the five minute here and um, you are on the end where the actually the price is and you have this yellow zone from the past and then you see that your rsi is in this area over 70 you need that you can't go really really more higher because you are here in a zone in two zones at this point it was only one zone the the yellow one but then it will be the next one and then there come the blue zone the the daily zone and this again so at this point if you go in for the reverse let this with a short pos position here let's say you go in here and you would have a stop loss in mind this is over the next zone and you target the next area for example the next zone area this could be this one but at this time you you go you you stay in this trade as long as, as the rsi is coming back to this lower side okay so you can literally stay in this trade on this zone here because this is the most most recent zone here okay so you can take the stop loss a little bit more um, tighter that's not the problem at all but it's only for you to see okay when will be a reversal here okay so you know that i don't work with stop loss at this point like um, you normally work with it so i have a stop loss in mind and um, i close by hand and sometimes i use stop loss to secure profits but at this point i will be alarmed that we are in a zone we are at the rsi on the higher time thing and then um, we are here to the downside to the next um, to the next channel because you have an uptrend and literally this was um, no this is the wrong this is the wrong one I want this one literally you had this uptrend here 
Then you had this big thing here where it's coming back, perhaps because of the news or something. Then you are going into a reversal mode. Okay, come back to this area again. You see it here. Retest this area again. Most of the time this area get retested. Okay, retest. And then you bre break this zone and go out to the next one. Make a lower low. And now you can expect a move to the upside again. Okay, that is this what makes it really easy to understand what's happening here. So I will take this one out now. And um, let's say I go in and make the one minute now, like I would probably um, scalp. Okay, so I will take this here out, this here out too. And I will take in some EMAs, like you know it because um, you know how I use the EMAs. So let's say you make here on the one minute, this is price action too, okay? You need to know what price action is. So most of the time the price will make a double top. So this is one top, this is another top. And then we see this change and the EMAs crossing and going to the downside to the next zone, okay? Then we're going up again, retest this zone here. The EMAs go parallel, coming back to this area here. Then we are ranging, okay? We are ranging here. And then literally, I need to take it here. Literally, actually, we are, um, we have broken the zone to the downside. So if you are scalping like me and you have this four parallel lines here, then most of the time I will go here in with a cell and take it to the next zone. And this is where you would go out again. Okay. This is at this example, it's not much. Okay. This is only a 10 pip move in this in this point but imagine what you are having with really huge moves so if you were staying here from the beginning you see you are in a zone here you see that the rsi is overbought you see that there are double top you have the crossover from the emas you go into the downside you literally take the retest from this area here this is a retest and then you take it to this zone then the, the, that's 20 pips okay that's really really fast 20 pips in a few minutes okay but there are no huge news at this moment. So let's see. Let's see this here. You are here in this ranging area. Then you are coming here in. You have this point where we are touching this again. So this here is in the one minute another zone. Okay, you can draw the zones here too in the one minute and in the five minutes. This is actually you can do this. So let's take green here. So you have here this double top again, and then it come back to retest. You see that we are falling. We are heading to the downside. The EMAs got parallel. And then we have here our trade. Okay. We are going for quick trades. We are not going always for the long term trades. So let's say you would go in here. These are 16 pips, okay, guys? So um, literally, you can scalp this from zone to zone, or what you can do then is like here, you have, um, if you would, I take the five minute now, so you can see this better. Let's say you see that this here, <clears throat> really confusing actually with this price like showing like this okay so actually you see that you are in this ranging channel here okay you always see that there are touches 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 retouch so this is probably the retest of this area you have touches here 
here and always the retest okay and you always stay in this area you never go up and down and then you break it okay so you see here that you come to this next zone and you break this one okay this is a big one from the daily and you break it and then you came back to retest you retest this area here from the upside so you see it it's always was um, resistance and now it's support here and then you go up let's say you go in here and um, you don't take it to the next zone because um, you need to see that it's break this level here so then you will go to the next one so this are 34 pips guys and if you would hold it because it doesn't come to the um, 200 ema in this case or you would hold it longer because it doesn't break the 50 EMA. So you see it doesn't break it. Let's imagine what you are doing here with the zones. Okay, so this is a really, really quick trade. And let's say you are going in and um, you know that there are news and you know that news are always something that um, let the price literally move really really fast okay guys so let's say you have um you you trade like me and you have multiple trades not one trade with 10 lots so you have 10 trades with one lot and then you will close out one at this point okay where you are in the first zone perhaps you close one out here when you are heading here to the back from the emas then you close out one at this area because this is your zone. You close out another one here, another one here, another one here. You close them out in the zones, okay? Literally, you will make really good profits. And what you can do is you can take your stop loss the same way that you can take your partial profit. So when you are here, let's say, you can take your stop loss into this area because it's under the the last um, yeah under the last zone and then you can upper your stop loss whenever you are in this area and the price is here and it's really clear that when the price move is so fast you need to be fast because it will come back immediately but imagine this this are 65 points pips where you are literally scalping it and going in and out so quickly this is I think it's it's amazing but you need to um, practice this and you need to see it and perhaps there are pairs where you can see it better like um, let's let's look at gold again so I can show you this with gold again so um, let's go in the one hour so it's a little bit more accurate so let's see Oh my god, gold is going so high. Do you see this? Gold was at this level here where um, it's literally absolutely amazing. That was what I am said yesterday and you see it live here. So um, there at gold, I don't have so many levels, okay? Gold have strong levels, not so much like in any forex pairs, but you see this here. So this are levels where i marked them out from the four hour the one hour the 15 minute and um you see it here that whenever you are now on the one hour that's the clearest point for me um let's say you have this green level because this was the first time you've seen it and then you come into the rsi and um, stochastic area here at this point and you see you are in the overboard okay so you can then go in and scalp it back to the next area or to the ema then the next time you um, heading higher and you get this zone here you mark it and the price come back again to this point okay and then you can literally go in and scalp it back as long as you see 
that um, I would go out when I am here in the zone or let some other run. But um, this is literally absolutely amazing. And um, perhaps on the 15 minute, we will see it much better, much clearer. So um, like here, you are here in the really overboard and you are here on the top of the green um, area. So this one is really interesting. So you Skype it back. You come to this area again where you were at the um, other side. So you come back to here again. What do you see? You see here it's at this point a big wick. A big wick is always really nice because you know that it can't hold here. So you see this here. We are going higher now. And at this point why I said, okay, gold will break out. When gold break out from this um, triangle that um, it's in this channel, in this triangle channel, then we will go higher. Okay, so it broke out once it come back and then it's literally going higher, higher, higher. And this is the, the thing I wanted to show you. Um, um, I marked it on the US 30. Let's see. Um, the colors are different, but um, literally you see what um, what I am saying here to you, okay, what I am teaching you here. So whenever you are in this areas here, in this over the 70, under the 30, you, you can watch in which zone you are and then you go in to change the direction, okay? So you will literally, literally Skype to the next zone back or the next two. And um, when you are in a ranging market, it's so easy to spot to spot it because you are always in this ranging market. And when you then breaks out, this is um, yeah, it's 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 easy for you. And you can see whenever you are in a Skyping trade, you look at your marked chart and you have a better understanding when to go in and when to go out. So what you can do now is practice this, um, mark your charts and find a way to implement this into your trading if you want to. And um, then look at all the touches and price will always come back. And when, when you combine it with my untouched candles, okay, this is the other thing, you know, that I am love to work with untouched candles. So let's see, perhaps this here is an untouched candle at this moment. Then um, I would go to this one and then it will be stronger because it's in a zone too. Okay, so you always have this. If you, if you take them together and take all together what you learn from me to one big strategy, this is really important. So you know that um, at this point, let's say, you, you have this one here on the 15 minute, you see that the price come back to this point again and then bounces down. And what are you seeing here? We are in the area, in the literally high area from the RSI. We can't go higher. So we had this um, first top here that was this here, okay? Then the next one this here is the second touch here but it's lower here. So this is something you need to see there too, that this is a divergence and you have, um, a, 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 yeah, a, you see that the RSI is going down, so it's weaker. So this is a sign that the trend will not continue, okay? And you will going to the downside again. So literally, you need to watch to all this, things to patterns. You see that I'm using patterns like um, the triangle or um, like a flag or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm spotting these things and when I see a channel or something, I will work with it, okay? So whenever I see those things, it's important for you to know that there are those um, patterns and you can trade them. And when you combine it with all this together, you will literally have 
the holy grail <laughs> because this strategy works so well and if you know the market you you are going to um, trade only two to three pairs and you are prepared for what's happening in this pairs you will always see that it's it's a good idea to focus on pairs that are that you all, always trade again so you will be the king of this pair okay or the queen of this pair so you see it here if this line here gets if this line get um here what you see is um i didn't um put it at this point so you have here the second we are ranging now and then you have a retest here so guys you need to see what this strategy gives you and you you will see this in the five minute you will see this in the one minute you will see this literally everywhere okay so in the five minute here you are in the um here in the oversold area and what do you see here we are here on a level that you marked in the past and then you can say i take my profits because perhaps here is a trend change okay and when you see something like this that you test another level here and you are on the bottom you know that this was only um, a rejection and it will go higher again so you need to be really careful what this strategy gives you and i want you to practice this because i will literally have this um this um yeah thing um in my trading routine now that i mark my charts on trading view to have it open and then see what the the in the broker what's going on there so i can be really really fast with exit and entry so that is something i am struggling always a little to know if i could hold it longer or if i go out or if i cl close in losses perhaps so this is something that will help me really really much and i think it will help you too so practice it you don't need to do it like this many time zones you can do it on the 15 minute only and uh, but but i like to see the overall direction so you can literally make this to your own strategy and i am really really happy that i can show you this and um yeah the next live session will be in two days so if you are in the telegram channel it's linked <laughs> um in the description then you get the dates at any time when when i go live so it's on wednesday and um, if you want to be with us then subscribe and um, take on the um, the um, notification that you get informed when i go live so yes see you on wednesday and happy trading and hope i can give you another confirmation for this strategy to do it safer and um, literally it will help you if you practice 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 and um, take care see you soon bye